It's a matter of who has the biggest ticker. Not quite sure I agree with that. I, well, I just think there's probably been about two or three rushed that bring the point score kicking pretty much even. And I do think Werribee Sentinels at the moment have probably just played the better footy in patches. Yeah, a bit better forward line. Way you go, Ronnie. Yeah, big boy. He punches it forward again, but again, the defence of Nicholson does well for the Tigers. Good support there from, uh, looks like, uh, Lewis. Matty Lewis has been in the thick of things all afternoon, and there looks like a player down. Central's the big fellow in um, Chris Kelly. Kelly it is. Yeah. What a happy camper. Oh, he's given it to Peter Gray. They're a little bit short in the ruck, Bannockburn, aren't they? They're just a little bit short. Over to O'Brien. In fact, it was Johnny uh, Ilkowski. It was Johnny. Johnny won't like you calling him Gray. Oh, they're both ugly, who cares? <laughs> oh, Peters. Oh, Peters has dropped the centre. <laughs> Absolutely, but he's good enough on hands and knees to get it across to Dylan. Connor Dylan now. Oh, it's a mongrel punt to the outer side of the ground. Chipping in there for the Tigers. Good work was from Hagabold. He lost the foot. He got it over the top. Now a chance. Breaking through half back. Could have been, uh, I think you'll find it was, uh, could have been Stanford again working hard. Looks up there for Perkins at half forward, but the numbers are against him. And the uh, Centrals clear it out to the outer side centre wing. Heath Buck takes the foot. It goes inboard. Looking for oh, O'Brien. Not, not a good kick. And I think Perkins has chipped in. Plays on quickly. Over the top he goes to Lewis. He's drifted down the ground. Gets through one tackle. Oh, didn't steady the ball now. Will it hold up for Wishart? No, it won't. And uh, looks like the 54 Guernsey now being worn by Sean Wickens. Wasn't the 21. No. The Probably made a little mistake there, Lewis. He thought <laughs> he was <laughs> hot and he wasn't. No talk down there. Big tap out. Comes out, oh, umpire, no, it's a netball whistle. It snoods me. And there's been a Bannockburn mark. And we'll go to Ricky Harding. Started off like a house on fire, Ricky Harding. Just fell away a little bit and gone away out of the player touch. He's got the chance now to get Bannockburn a goal closer. And he plays well as you lit. Good defensive work there has for been. his opponent. As we see now, a chance for the Tigers. Can they bridge the gap? Margin, 22 points. And uh, Harding comes in the oh, drop punt. Oh, he's allowed too much for the breeze. Didn't bring it back. And a minor score for Rick Harding. Banning burn 4-7-31. They trail Werribee Central's 8-4-52. Two and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. Buckley's Cup, GDFL footy reserve grade. Season 2010 at St Albans Park. Great crowd mustering here this afternoon. Overcast conditions, but pretty comfortable. As we wait now, ball, member side of the ground. Half forward flank, panic burn into attack. Good work there from Zoe. Zoe Simpson for the uh, Centrals. Got it to a teammate. And we look at their Collins, grab. it was Collins. Collins, a bad kick goes to Nicholson. Nicholson's caught with the ball, doesn't dispose of it, but didn't have the prior. Goes to O'Brien again, gets one a bit high, O'Brien. That's a lovely kick under pressure, and it goes to James Magic Lee. He's going to slow play down a little bit. Goes out towards the halfback flag, he finds Joey Pace in the back 50. Joey Pace, he stuck it up in the air a little bit. Oh, it's a beautiful That's the mark of the oh, day! That's the mark of the year by O'Neill. Puts it down towards in full forward position. It goes over the head of the players. Now Collins in the van. He goes onto the left boot. He goes for the boundary. He could be deliberate, but the umpire says, throw it in. Come on, umpire. He kicked that out on purpose. Can't you see that? Three and a half minute mark of the final quarter. Margin 21 points. Werribee Central's enjoying that lead, but Bunny Burn deep into attack, kicking with a four goal breeze in the final stanza. Now, chance here. Good work there from the Tigers. Chance for James Turnley. Kick, oh, Wishart's dropped the soda. Pace comes in, kicks it up there to centre wing position. Good use Great of the body. Work. And a nice mark taken again, O'Neill. Like, Plays on quickly, hand pass was good to the run of Matook. Oh. Oh, here's a chance, Tigers the bouncing footy. What's he done? He's paid free. a free kick to Bannockman. Yep, the skipper. Well, he, he did shake his hand at the start of the game because he did have to toss the coin. I was watching the footy, I didn't see it. Well, chance now, David Stanford. He's, he's led by example all day, just chips it over the top. Great work, Matty Lewis. Lewis a chance now. O'Brien on the mark. Lewis goes bang. It's a high ball floating to the square. The big man fly for the guest video pie. Harding pushed in the back. 
Oh, oh he's paid the out the way. He's paid on the ball. Cameron Mooney, if he saw that, it'd be <laughs> ropeable as it comes out the Barilaro. Barilaro in defence in the back pocket. It's a little chip kick over towards, I think that's Wickens in the new jumper. He goes over to Zooey. Big Zooey puts it on the right boot. Down towards the wing position. Two on two here. No one can take the mark. Jack O'Brien's played a Thanks ripper work. of a game to Walters. He puts it out towards Alagona. If he gets the run of the ball, look out. He can't do that. Now he does. He picks it up. He runs it. It's oh, 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 what a beauty. Kicks his second. Great goal, well, Ricky Alagona against the tide. Well, it was Luke, uh, Ricky Alagona, but Luke Simpson and the boys down here played a magnificent part in that as Heath Buck prepares to come on for the final time today. Mate, that could be the match winning goal. Five, five and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. And uh, the Werribee Central side, 9 4 58. Bannockburn, 4 7 31. Margin now out to 27 points. Five and a half minutes gone to the final quarter. Oh, it's a big ask from here, Ronnie. Yeah, big ask now, Tigers. Didn't need that to happen. They've had all the play in this final quarter. Warren Corrier off. He's played a sterling game too. The big men fly for that guest video. Pie. Great work there. Hagerbowl's got it to ground level. But again, the central swoop on the leather. Quick kick up there to half forward. Great work there. I think you'll find Alagona it was Walters. Again, is it? And a chance there at half forward. Alagona goes up. Oh, good work there was O'Neill. For the Tigers, ball now spills oh. to ground. DeLuca, DeLuca goes back! I think he's missed it. From about 35 metres, he's just offline. Well, that would have put the issue beyond doubt. A minor score on the board. Central's 9 5 59. Bannockburn 4 7 31. Six and a half minutes gone. Ball back into play. Now, the Tigers have come to the members' side of the ground. They're not scared. They're trying to bring it to the attacking side. It's the only way to go now, Ronnie. Deep in their defence, though. Ball back into play. Comes to ground. Great work again. Could have been, I think you'll find, was Walters. He's been busy. Loose ball now. Cleared for the Tigers. Out to half. Or half back. Great work there was from uh, Corrigan, the vice captain for the Centrals. Kicks up quickly to Luca. Well smothered. Chance now for the Tigers. Can they pick it up? No, they can't. DeLuca with strength. Got it to O'Brien. He's caught one a little high. Play on's the call. You don't play now, them in grand Kasher finals. Breaks one tackle. Gets around another one. Kicks under pressure. Up to the forward pocket. There's been a whistle on play. Well, I don't think there has. I think that was the netball whistle. Out of bounds. And uh, welcome to St Albans. And the scoreline uh, is Werribee Central's 9-5-59. Batting burn 4731, 94.7 FM. In it comes now. Tap down by the Werribee Central's ball. But the umpire's going to pay a free kick here. It's going to be for holding and it's going to go to Bannockburn deep, deep down in the back pocket. How's your pulse, mate? Oh, I'm right, mate. 94.7. The pulse is football. As out it comes now. Over to Nicholson, I think it is from here. It's on that left boot. He's played a sterling game. Goes over to Rutherford. Rutherford, he holds up play. You can't do that, son. You need to get it going. He does now, but he kicks it straight down. Oh, he's he dropped the center, Joey Pace. It comes out to Douglas. He's played a ripping game. He's going to have a bounce with Barilaro chasing, but it's a bad kick. And Collins chips in and takes a well-timed mark. Puts it out towards the half back. They've got players running everywhere here. It goes to Lee. Lee puts it up towards Heath Buck. Heath Buck decides oh. we're in front. It's the last quarter. I'm going to slow it down with no time on. Goes out now towards the half back flank. Runs off. Puts it deep into attack. Robinson can't take the mark. Picked up by the Bannockburn defence. No, it's not. It's still in dispute. Now it is as they come out. Puts it up towards centre forward. There's central players everywhere. James Lee takes a mark on the half-back flank. He handballs now back to Heath Buck. Yeah. Heath Buck's just stopped. He bids it back to, Matt, to James Lee. They're dog-tired, these boys. James Lee puts it up towards the half forward flank. They're looking for a big forward, but the batting burn defence hold tight, Ronnie. Yeah, great work again. Jackson O'Neill goes short, though. The kick, not a good one. Plenty of experience there from the, uh, the Central's boys, as we see now a chance. Tigers through the ages. I think you'll find it good of a ah. His kick, that was an absolute shocker. Straight down the throat of Dale Collins at uh, left half back. Goes short, Joey Pace, been busy. Just steadying the tide. Banning burn into attack, but the Central's hold possession. Kicks it long into the centre of the ground. 
Matty Lewis flies high, can't take the footy. O'Brien hits the pack hard. Now, loose ball, sees O'Brien go back into it again. Met solidly by Nicholson. Now, Chance, ball in dispute, comes out wide. Chance now centrals. Quick kick there, Heath Buck up there looking for the uh, high flyers. Tykes through the agency of Lamartra. He couldn't trap it. Ball spills now. Chance uh, for the centrals. The kick, though, not a good oh, one. Oh, he another one. Bannockburn drops an absolute sitter. His second effort was okay, and he finds, uh, looks like uh, that was Hagabals there at half back. Hagabals now kicks the footy long, up to half forward. But again, Heath Buck, with those years of experience for the Centrals, takes a timely grab. He's been terrific, Heath Buck, in defence as he comes over now. He puts it over the, towards pace. They're going to hold it up for a while. Big Johnny Olkowski's having a rest. He's done a sterling job as they go back now. Comes over to Beasley. Oh, it's a shock and kick. It was Collins, I think. Puts it over now. Gets the ball back again. He heads for the... Hit the boundary, and he does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't go out. Simpson trying to pick it up, and he does so. Gives it over to Walters. Walters puts it over towards Barillaro, and he hasn't held it. The umpire's paid it. Lewis isn't happy. Probably a bit lucky. Barillaro not on a, the half-back flank. Not a mark, mate. Not a mark. Much. No, I don't think so. Puts it in the centre of the ground. Peters, don't drop this one. He did, but there's been a shepherd paid. A shepherd paid by the umpire by the looks of that. And it will result in a Bannockburn free kick. Little Jackie O'Brien's played a pearl at an A. He's coming off for a well-earned rest. Rutherford puts it in towards the half-forward flank. Good mark. Oh, he's played on. It's a shocking bit of playing over towards Heath. Uh, Roland Beck's cop one eye. Oh, there could be a report. No, it's not. I think he was staging, Ronnie. <laughs> but the old campaigner there took a well done. Had a well-earned rest, I'd suggest. As we see, Roland Beck, years of experience here. Well, it's a blood rule. He yeah. must have caught one. He, he has must have caught one. one. All right. He went down uh, like a sack of spuds, but look, he's okay. He's running off. He uh, knows. He can smell the victory. Have a look at it. It's red. I thought he used to bleed green and gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, Becky coming off to get cleaned up. Coming back on the ground uh, is Jake's Walters. They've got to the wait till yeah, they've got to wait till he gets out there. And James Turnley having a spell for the tide. That's pretty weak, Beck. I never come off of no blood nose. <laughs> <laughs> As we see now, too, having a run for the Tigers, uh, Stevie Broom. Back on the ground as the uh, play is now back underway. Ball oh. Yeah, looking there for Heath Buck. Oh, did he trip him? No, James on. Wishart, no free kick forthcoming. Centrals. Well, that might be a bit high. Yep, cop one a little high there at half back. I think you'll find that that could have been Ryan Quarrier. It is. If he was a half an inch higher, he would have missed him. Quarrier. Left half back, goes out to the outer side of the ground. 13 gone, Ronnie. Yep, 13 and a half minute mark of the final quarter. Margin, 28 points. A big night at Werribee Centrals tonight, I'd suggest, uh, Grubby. Well, there's still one to go after this. As up it goes into the half forward flank, it's looking for Robinson. Robinson can't quite hold the mark. And the ball rolls out for a throw in. The umpire says, I'll throw it back in. We've gone 13 minutes and 15 seconds in the 2010 Reserves Buckley's Cup Grand Final. Werribee Central's 9-5-59. Bannockburn 4-7-31 as in it comes. Goes to Nicholson. He's been a terrific player, Nicholson. He can hold his head up high for the Bannockburn Tigers side. Umpire is going to ball it up as the ball will not come out of the bottom of the pack. And they're, they're going the hold-up tactics, Ronnie. Yeah, they certainly are. Scoreboard shows margin, 28 points. Werribee Central's are enjoying that lead at the 14-minute mark of this final quarter. Buckley's Cup Reserve Grade GDFL footy here at St Albans. Hope you're enjoying the call on the 94.7 Pulse FM. A quick kick forward there for the Centrals. Ball spills to the left forward pocket. Chance now. Great work there from the full back in Burley. Looks out there for his teammate in Peters. Under the pressure. Hand pass in Boyd. Back to Nicholson was good footy. He's got support. The overlap was from Wishart. Goes short to Lewis. Great play there for the Tigers. As now Lewis chips up forward. And Broom now at half forward. Member side of the ground. Steady's proceeding, he's down. Looks there, Perkins comes out, the oh, kick, not a good one. Simpson. And Zooey, Zooey Simpson plays, uh, takes a nice mark, plays oh, on the well. Ricky. 
Ricky Algana's kick, not a good one. And again, that man, Nicholson, he'll sleep well tonight. Plays on quickly and finds his teammate in Glenn Duncan at centre-half forward. Duncan loads up. Long bomb. Up there for the high flyers. Comes out now. Chance for the Tigers. The hand pass. Not a good one. Coming through was Peter Gray. He overruns the footy. Now we see a chance there for the big fellow in, uh, in uh, Joey Pace. He couldn't trap it. Ball oh, spills out. Bump. And uh, again, Kelly does well for the centrals. Hand pass. Looks for his teammate. Puts him under a bit of pressure. There was Walters. Back to Simpson. Spills out now. Member side. Centre wing position. Oh, Damn. beautiful Great play. Left side steps there. Barlero uh, kicks it up there to half forward. Central's chance. Can he pick it up there is DeLuca. Under pressure from Dylan. Through that. Threw it out. Yeah, Robertson got sandwiched. Oh, got one eye. Oh, got another one eye. And got nothing. Oh, how many times you got to get it in the head before you get a kick? Yeah, and uh, just a little bit of uh, tough work there. Chris Kelly could have given the free kick away. I think you'll find. Wow. Jason! Well, I think the umpire might be feeling a bit sheepish here because this boy can't get up and he said no free kick. But you've got to wait. That's how the umpires see it. Well, I think it was just a clash, a clash of heads, mate. There was no intent there at oh, all. I thought it was a clash of heads. One head, one elbow. Oh, he's dropped the footy when he's played on, oh, Peters. He's been such a... His effort's been fantastic, but he couldn't hold on to the footy. Armstrong gets a little kick. No, it wasn't. It was DeLuca. He goes over towards Alagona. Alagona hasn't been great, but he's been dangerous. And oh, there's a free kick down the ground. Peters has given one away. He thinks he's Nelson again. Look at him. I don't think he'd be going the big bloke, son. And is it going to be a free kick in the goal square here? It's on here for young and old. There's a Donny Brook going on. But the umpire, that's a goal to Werribee Centrals. Forget the fight. Have a look at the scoreboard because Werribee Centrals, have, that's a yellow card. We've got a yellow card come out. And it's going to go to Chris Kelly by the looks of it. And maybe Peters as well. There have been two yellow cards, one each. I don't think it'll matter at this stage. If you're fair to him, have a go when you get off and have a real good go. But the ball will come back to the centre now. It is a goal to Werribee Centrals. Well, 17 minute mark of the final quarter. Boys well, getting a bit excited. No, it's only a point. That, that, what happened there? It's only a point. It went right through the middle. Out it comes now to DeLuca. He hasn't got the football, DeLuca. And he will get a free kick. Oh, 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 look out, it's on. Oh, he's throwing punches, Rutherford. He has to be reported for that. He's throwing punches left, right and centre. And he will have to be yellow carded. There is no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt. 9660, 4731. 17 and a half minutes gone. Rutherford leaves the field. He will be obviously reported and set off. Little bit of frustration because they've had a real, re oh, there's a Werribee Central's bloke sent off too. Oh, they're coming off another two yellow cards. They're coming off left, right and centre here. And the free kick will go, who to? He's gonna reverse it and give it to Bannockburn. We're lucky we're on the radio. You're not allowed to swear, Ronnie. That is a disgraceful decision. You can't throw punches like that and get away with it, but they're gonna let it go. Johnny. Johnny. Well. Ball now. Him off. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, up and high. Centre wing. Great mark. Lovely mark. That was Magic Lee. Jimmy Lee, you beauty. Kicks the ball long. Back to centre half forward. Up they oh, go. Oh, good grab. Yep. Connor Dillon steadies the tide for the Tigers. Goes Played out well. now. Member side of the ground. Looks for the skipper in Stanford who's been busy. Across half back. Has a bounce. It's around Heath Buck, goes back inboard, looking there for his teammate in Duncan. That was Glenn, now a chance. Oh, hand pass, not a good one. Puts him under a bit of pressure. Wishart down with a chance. Steadies, looks up there for his teammate at half forward, who's loose. Ryan Douglas has been He's terrific been too. good, this kid. Now, Steadies, looks back inboard. Wishart, by himself. Oh, it's a oh. shocking kick. Oh, that's a shocking kick. Simpson standing in the way, he gets a birthday present at the 19 minute mark of the last quarter. We're not long to go as it comes out towards Nathan Beasley. 
Beasley onto the right boot. He's got a couple of Central's boys there. They raffle it. Quarrier wins the raffle. And he now goes out towards Heath Buck. He's pushed in the back by Nicholson. And the umpire says, yes, that's a free kick. Yeah, that's experience, Grubby. Just a little bit of experience at 40-odd years old and played some great football. It'll go back to Heath Buck now. The time's ticking down. We've only got a few seconds to go, I think, in this grand final. Up it goes to Joey Pace. The siren's gone! And the Werribee Centrals have won the Buckley's Cup for 2010. Congratulations to the Green and Gold and a very happy co-commentator Grubby Cations. Uh, final scoreline, yep, 9-6-60. We Werribee Centrals have defeated the Bannockburn Tigers 4-7-31. Goal kickers, Grub. First of all, for the victors. Uh, two goals apiece to Dean uh, Caruccio. Dean uh, Keisha and uh, Ricky Algona. Singles to Roland Beck, the skipper. Jackie O'Brien, who had been terrific all day. Chris Kelly, a single as well. For the Tigers, they had four individual goal kickers. Ricky Harding, uh, Dave Riesinger, Ashley Perkins and uh, Sammy Hickleton. Grubby, you're better players here this afternoon. Very, very hard to pick. I thought three of the best players on the ground probably come from the losing side. I thought uh, Lewis was a magnificent player all day. Might have had a little breather in the third quarter. I thought young Douglas was just terrific all day. <laughs> Nicholson never knocked up trying. I thought he was terrific. And I think they had a few other players there. Bannockburn who played a pretty good game. For Werribee Centrals, well, it was more of a team effort from Werribee Centrals. They all chimed in and did their little bit. I really liked Jackie O'Brien's game. I thought he was terrific. One of the best on the ground. I thought Ryan Quarrier was fantastic all day. The Ruck, I think the Ruck division won the game from him. Big Peter Gray and Johnny Olkowski. I thought they were terrific. Heath Buck, Roland Beck, the Ivan Tanzing medalist. Geez, there were some good players. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave out too many players here. We've got to go for the uh, the VCFL medal. Now, it's going to be a toss up because there's only two of us and we haven't got a we haven't got a casting vote. But unfortunately, I'm going to go for Grubby, uh, for Jack O'Brien for yep. the medal. Congratulations, Jackie O'Brien, one of the smallest blokes on the ground, but with the biggest heart. The number 20 Guernsey for the Werribee Centrals wins the VS VCFL medal for season 2010 here at St Albans Park, where the Werribee Centrals have come out victors by 29 points. You can bring up all your locals and bring them to the top, but the Werribee um, boys are coming. Um, they're coming on a hop. Come on, boys, make a noise where the red hops have a look. We are the boys from Werribee. <laughs> she was standing on. No, you're not allowed to sing that. <laughs> well, hope you've enjoyed the call here on 94.7 Pulse FM here this afternoon. GDFL 3. Richard Grubby Cations. Great call. Hope you've enjoyed it. Ronnie Brain here for. Guest Media Productions. Great game of reserve grade footy here this afternoon. Great crowd, considering it's a little overcast, but uh, no rain, which is a blessing. What a great, great game it was, really. It wasn't pretty football, but it was tough and hard, Ronnie. The stuff that you used to play. Get in and get in and get it hard. That's it. I think we're going to be back about 2 o'clock, you blokes, for the greatest game in Geelong football, the GDFL Grand Final. Yep, a big one too. Werribee Central's Bell Post Hill. Who are you going for? Bell Post Hill. Yeah, would too, you yep. mongrel. I'm going for the Werribee Central's boys. Well, they've lost the last two, Bell Post Hill. I reckon third time lucky. Maybe they're going to say they lost the last three. You never know. I was looking for Johnny Mitchell to do what he did in 96 and water the ground, but I couldn't get hold of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the X-Man. Well, it, he, no, not the ex-mayor, he is the mayor. I thought he might, oh, have, they, have, they given him I thought he might have had a bit of pull and get the sprinklers on and lose the super <laughs> sopper down at Warnable somewhere. Ronnie, fancy having this place here. <laughs> Why didn't you Speak water the, the ground for us like Speak you did in 96, devil. Mitchell? Speak of the Speak devil. Three, hey? three feet. The Lord, Lord Mayor, we should... <laughs> Why didn't you water the ground for us like you did at Thompson in 96? <laughs> you go better on a flat track here, <laughs> well, You said we'd be out in straight sets. So did you. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it here. But we're be Central's Premiers in uh, 2010 for GDFL Reserve Grade Buckley Cup. 29 point victors. We'll be back to the studio for some messages.
got to hate the A team there, Cogsy. Hey, you've got them all, Cogsy. Hey. Unfortunately, the B team's coming in now to do the big one. <laughs> Back on track. Ellen, Ellen. Come on, B team. Can you win? Well, we've already done it. Can you win? So, I reckon, I reckon there's a win. Oh, well, that's, that's really stuffed it down, isn't it? Oh, you're unbelievable. You, you told me a quarter time one day you'd win by 20 and beat us. We beat you by 20. You're 40 out. <laughs> yep, you're there, Fred. Uh, stay there. Uh, stay there at the studio until two o'clock, mate. Until they're ready. Okay. Good on you, Fred. Hope you got the message, mate. You there, Fred? All right, well, that's the message anyway, Freddie boy. Good on you, mate. Johnny Tarasio said good day, too, by the way. Oh, he's only a little bloke, he's not carrying much weight on oh, I think the worry might be Hall. Oh, Festuka's playing, look! <laughs> Mark Renata. Don't worry about the other way, I'm worried about Cal. Um, Cal, I don't think Cal can fix it. You don't know how many, how best player in the second season, you don't know how many, that's back to day. He's age, Thank you. 